Hello everyone, this is me Hivza from CordularFreeAIA.com. Today I am going to walk you through how I build this quiz application in Cordular. I have been working on this project for a while but unfortunately I lost all my recording footage due to a system crash. So in this video I will explain everything I have done so far step by step so you won't miss out on any part of the process. And uh, by the end of the video um, we will also include the remaining functionalities and features. So let's dive right in and I will show you exactly how this project was built. So let's start with the first screen which is the layout screen. There is nothing too fancy here just a clean simple design for a typical GUI based quiz application. You don't need to worry too much about how I designed it because this part is completely up to you. I will be giving away this AIA file for free on CordularFreeAIA.com so feel free to download it, modify it, add new functionalities or redesign it however you like. Let me briefly walk you through what's on the layout screen. I have used standard Cordular components to build this interface. At the top of the screen there is a back button but currently it does not do any anything since I have not added any lo logic to it. Similarly the, at the bottom of the screen there is a proceed button that is also not doing anything right now. These two, bu these two buttons are left intentionally uh, blank as a challenge for you. You can choose to link at the back button to the previous screen or maybe open a home screen. Similarly, you could connect the proceed button to a congratulations screen or any other screen of your choice. That part is entirely up to you and I would love to hear in the comment section what you ended up creating. Below that, we have a label that displays the countdown timer showing how much time is left for the quiz. Then there is a question tracker with label that is showing uh, then how many questions have been answered out of 10. Right below that we have got a progress bar that syncs with the question tracker. It moves forward uh, each time a question is answered adding a bit of visual feedback to the user for the user. It's a small but useful touch to enhance the user experience. Then we move on to the actual question label where the quiz or question appears. Under that there are four or, or, um, answer options each placed inside the horizontal arrangement. These consist of an image and a button. When a user selects uh, an answer if it's correct the ch image changes to green if it's incorrect the image turns red and that's it for the design portion it's a si simple clean layout that works well for a quiz application in the next tutorial i will take you through the blog section where all the logic and magic happens thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one